Hello, my name is Hector. Welcome back to all the mods free. How is everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a grand old day. Last episode, we did some embers. We did some embers amongst some other things, um, but we, we started embers. We started the process of embers, and it's a nice little mod. I mean, everything looks gorgeous. Obviously, the room that we're in does not. Um, everything about this looks amazing. So, we, we made some ember shards. We converted them uh, in a pressure refinery to make embers which powers all of the machines and this is like a battery and uh, you can see here it is can I? no there we go it is it is currently full which is excellent and uh, we did all of this in a we mixed some stuff to make dawnstone which I have a lot of now and then we stamped it into uh, an ingot form there you go um, oh there is actually some left in here as well so we did that to make an exchange tablet, but uh, unfortunately we ran out of time. Ran out of time to actually make the exchange tablet. So if we look at embers, uh, two things we need to make is one is an inflictor gem. And you can see that is like that, and then it, all of these things, which I, I didn't I didn't have a clue. But I do now, I do now. And we also need to make wildfire cores. And both of these are used to make... Um, they are parts to make up the ATM star, which is the end game thing to make in order to get like really OP stuff. That's sort of the, the goal of all the mod 3. You don't have to do it, but it is there. It is there as a challenge. So I would very much like to get to that challenge. So we need both of these things. Now the wildfire core is made up of two things that also need to be alchemized in an exchange tablet. The ember crystal cluster like that. And the ancient motive core. There we go, like that. Um, so how this works? How this works is basically you put things in the recipe like that, and then we need to make some of these aspectus things. There you go, like that. And we'll we'll get around to making them. Then we put those in there along along with some ash piles. Now the interesting thing about embers is that it is different for every person that plays. So let's take the Inflictor Gem. You can see it says here 3248 of the gold, oh no, Dawnstone Aspectus, there you go. So what this means is that you have to put between 32 and 48 ash in uh, one of these pedestals. And you basically have to, you, you have to see. It's different for every person, so you have to do a little bit of experimenting, start with like one number, probably the lower number, and then just keep adding to it in order to do so. Um, and then you have to beam beam it <laughs> with a beam gun and, and like hit it and it will start doing its process. So that's what we're going to be focusing on today. Um, but before that, you need to make ash piles. And it's a bit weird because if you look at JEI, um, it sort of says it's a stamping recipe with alchemical waste. And if you try to click on alchemical waste, you're not able to. Uh, so it's like a bit like, how do I get this? Well, alchemical waste you get from, um, for instance, when you are trying to find out how much ash you need to put in a recipe. If it's wrong, it will give you some alchemical waste. So you could do it like that. But you can make um, ash piles in a cinder plinth, uh, which is a pretty easy. Again, I've hooked it up with an ember emitter and... Uh, and a receptor to give it some power and basically what it does is it, I think it almost does anything but uh, I've been using dirt and you can see it gets put into there and then I get ash pile there we go like that so I will get it's a 1 1 ratio so I will get 64 more ash piles in order to do that which is pretty good pretty good so um, one thing we need I think we need more of these so I need what five of these so let's quickly make some more pedestals uh, I think we need one of each I thought we'd uh, we'd do it together what have I got I oh ah I need some more ember ember shards which are there we go look at that that is oh ember crystals but you know same thing same thing we've got plenty of those I need some more copper blocks I can do those there we go and I think we need some more plates uh, so I can put that there. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think that should be enough. That should be enough to make another two. Uh, one, two, 
There we go. Lovely stuff. Now, I don't know how how far these need to be or anything like that. I'm sort of hoping that that is okay. That would be very nice if it were. Um, so the next thing we need to do is, that was a very simple thing, is look at these aspectus. Um, aspecti, I presume then, um, being the plural. So each of these is a different um, metal, and obviously you need a ember shard, a plate stamp, and then a little bit of the thing that you are making. So obviously silver needs silver, molten silver, lead needs lead. So that is fairly easy, and that's 144, so that is one ingot's worth. So that's, again, that's pretty simple. So we need five of those. Ah, we already had, already had that. That is fine. We need a plate stamp, which I think is different... To, yeah, that's a bar stamp. So how do we make a plate stamp? Uh, bar stamp, flat stamp, plate stamp. Um, raw plate stamp. There we go. That is how we make that. Okay, let us make one of these. So we need... Uh, no. Raw bar stamp. Raw plate stamp. And <laughs> of course, I don't have enough of that. Let's craft 64 of that. There we go. That should do us. Uh, plate stamp. There we go. And now let's go back up and quickly put this in a furnace. There we go. Can I get that out? Yes, I can. Look at that. Bedrock back down to here. That is such an awesome thing. There we go. Right. So I'm going to quickly get some molten molten liquids and then basically you just pump it in. Um, so obviously we, that's what we're doing here. So let us... Um, yeah, let's that let's turn that off for the moment, and I, I'm hoping if I replace this that it will be empty. Yes, excellent. So I'm gonna I'm gonna melt an ingot of each of these, and then all you have to do is just click it in there. But let's do that together. So the only way to get molten dawnstone is to actually use embers. So I just mixed some up again in the mixer centrifuge, like we did last episode. You can actually um, you can if we look quickly um, use a melting um, well, a, a, mel a melter there you go you can also do that as well but I just thought this was easier so I have uh, within me a portable tank that holds one of each except this which is a fair few actually and um, so let's put that there this is the copper one so that goes in that should go into there there we go so nothing is going into here right now except that um, we should be able to place one on here like that. Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh dear, oh dear. I should, I should do that first. Right. <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot that everything was basically. So I could have turned this off, but actually, I think it. This is full of ember anyway, so it will do it. So that is something to consider. So that's empty. What's this? This is silver. Okay. So we have one on on here anyway, so we can. Let's do that this time. There we go. That is putting that in, I'm thinking. And we should now... We should now get a silver aspectus, I'm hoping. There we go. Yes, there we go. Right. Okay, so that's basically how we need to do it uh, in order for that to not go wrong. What's this? Um, iron. There we go. So, okay. Okay, we, we, we've got it. We've got it. We understand how this works. So I'm going to make all five of them now. I finally have all of the aspect eye and uh, let's put them in there you can see it's got like a little bounding box so nice and easy for us to do there we go lead and iron boom we have that that is working so 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 let us have a look see at these recipes again embers um so I think the easiest one to do is the inflictor gem because that that's just all of this. That is fine. So we need three coal, a diamond, and dawnstone. So this should be easy. So one, two, three. Coal, a diamond. Um, diamond, where are we? There we go. And was it redstone? Where are you? Inflictor. Oh, dawnstone. Aha. Uh, which we have in our thing. So the way this works is... You need to basically put them one and one like that. So uh, the top, if you put it in at the top, it goes in at the top, and then the rest are from the sides. So that's sort of how that works. You need to 
We need to be, be a bit careful about how that. Now, these might all be wasted, I don't know, um, because of the alchemical waste. I very much imagine so. So let's try this. Where's the inflictor again? Let's actually... There we go. That's a little... Nope. Let's make it... There we go. That's better. Uh, we need Dawnstone and Lead. So 32 and 24. Those are the things that first start off. So 32 and then 24... So there we go, uh, which is which? Dawnstone 32, um, Dawnstone, that's this one, there we go, and lead was it? Lead 24, so let's pop that in, bam, and you should, we should be able to see it, yeah you can see, so that's what it looks like empty, you can see a little bit of black there in there, so now we should, is this off? Yes is I can't remember which one it is it's this one this one is on so I'm hoping if we turn that on that this should now work it's just now a thing it sometimes takes a while to happen oh maybe it's because I haven't bound like I haven't done the binding thing yet so uh, like that is this a thing that didn't really make the noise Oh no! Oh, is this not how you do it? Oh dear! So I, I've clearly missed something about how to bind the beam cannon. Maybe I, I thought it was. Can I do the the block? The block below? No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, maybe. No, it doesn't look like it. So. <laughs> Um, okay, well let me let me have another look at this. This is like I'm I'm so close to being right. I know. So this is correctly done. So you have to you have to shift click this first and then click that, and you can see it's pointing down. So that is correct. I even put a dial on here just to see if this had enough ember. But I think it's that that we have to do. Yes, there we go. Uh, so stuff is happening, and you can see uh, the only two that are pulsing are. Are Dawnstone and Lead, that's because they're the only one that has ash in them. So let's see. I'm guessing this will get us alchemical waste. That is fine. Um, I don't know how much ember this takes. Oh, this is already doing stuff. I don't know. Do we have to just keep that on? Oh, there we go. Yep. Yeah. Let's turn that off. Um, so. Ah, now it says lead in accuracy 12 and dawnstone in accuracy 12. So that's how inaccurate it is, which is an interesting way of doing it. Oh, hey, ho, ha. So, uh, basically, <laughs> I'm going to try and keep doing this. So we started obviously at 32 and 24, uh, like that. So maybe let's add four to each and then we need all of the coal again uh, so let's get a stack diamond let's get half a stack um, and let's try again you can see we've got now alchemical waste which sort of gives you a little bit of an indication at least uh, nope I need that and that there we go so let's quickly have another have another go at this just to see I just want to see how um, how much these val these values change. Oh, hey, hoo, ha! That's not what we wanted. There we go. So you can see it put a, like the entire stack on. Then that's very much not what you want. That is wrong. And I've put all <laughs> I've put all coal. That's what was going wrong there. There we go. Uh, and now thirty six and twenty eight we're trying. So which one was the higher one? I've forgotten again. I think it's the dawnstone. But let's let's just check. Dawnstone is higher. Um, so this was four more each it got. So that and then that. There we go. Uh, this is full again. Let's do that. There's a little bit of a delay. Yes, and then, <laughs> and then stuff happens. Okay. Okay, so let's see how much, how more accurate we are, I, I guess. Um, 
The only way is up, obviously, because we started at the lowest value, which I think is the easiest to do rather than take away. So just keep adding more and more. So it's a little bit there. And the way I understand it is once you've got the value, that does remain constant. Um, you just need to find it. So there's a little bit of, you know, messing around, which is, you know, it's slightly time consuming, but uh, it looks very pretty. Right, more. Aha. So adding four, adding four actually got us four less inaccurate. So I'm guessing we need to add eight then. That, that makes sense, yes? Eight. So, um, right. So call, uh, no, ash, 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 ash. I wasn't going to do this on camera, but since we this sort of close, right. So we started off um, with that, yes. We started off with that. We then added, we added four to that. And then I think we need to add eight more to each of these by the looks of it, by the looks of it. So that and that, so 44 and 36. So let's take a little snapshot of that, just so I sort of remember. Uh, we've got the inflictor gen there up, so that should help. Um, let's also turn this off for the moment. So let's put you in there and you in there. Lovely stuff. Let's get this out again. So three coal and the one diamond. There we go. Let's put all you on. So that, no. Oh, the side, the side. Remember to do the sides. There we go. All of that is done. This should hopefully work. That would be nice. And then we've got a nice little inflictor gem. Now, obviously, we need a fair few of these, probably. So it's probably in my interest to, um, to make a few of these at the time that I'm making them all, I think. I think that makes the most sense, doesn't it? Makes the most sense, and that does look pretty. Like, it's a really pretty mod, and I don't know if it's been continued, which is a shame, because it is rather lovely. I do I do enjoy the visuals. That's something that magic mods do really quite well, I think, um, that a lot of the tech stuff doesn't. So, yeah, let's see. Let's see. Hopefully we get an Inflictor Gem. That would be nice, wouldn't it? That would be very nice. Come on. Come on, Inflictor. How are we doing for Ember? Yeah, fine. Yes, there you go. Excellent stuff. Excellent stuff. So we need to now, obviously, I'll, I'll make some more of those, but the next thing we need to do is we need to make wildfire calls, or at least find out how to make them, and that means we need um, ancient... Oh, wow. So ancient motive calls are made up of archaic brick, and normally, normally, both the cores and the bricks are they are dropped from one of the um the the golems in from embers but it doesn't seem to be the case in this mod pack you seem to have to craft everything look at that okay wait hang on ah maybe we can then that's confusing we need archaic brick to make archaic brick how do we do that so we must surely be able to make ah you can find archaic brick okay this is interesting so i don't know if we if we can use that then because that would be better but yeah normally they're dropped from um, from golems but i imagine they're very much not because i should have loads of loads of these otherwise from my mob farm and i haven't seen any uh, flying around so maybe i need to have a look at that but anyway that's what the next step is. So I'm going to get on with making some more Inflictor Gems to begin with, and uh, then we'll solve the other problem. So after some faffing around trying to find one of these, I finally did. And you find them like generally in caves. Um, so you come upon a, a little structure like this, and normally golems spawn in here. And I waited around and nothing seemed to be spawning, so I don't know if I was just a bit unlucky. But there's another way of getting golems to spawn, and that's using an archaic light. And the way it works is you put two archaic bricks 
like that and obviously I'm surrounded by them so I've just been pilfering it from there and then if we come out what I've set up here is like a little sticky piston and what it does it it just places that archaic light it makes it touch the archaic bricks and doing that a golem will spawn so let's just quickly do it there we go bam and you can see we have a golem and these are they're, they're fairly hard and you can see they drop ancient motive cores and archaic bricks now i captured one in uh, in here so let's go back to our home uh, and see if we can uh, if we can put one of these in here that would be an interesting thing i have no idea is this still spawning slimes no i paused it let's put you in there let's do that and let's see let us see if this does Yes, aha, excellent. So we should, oh, look at that, excellent. If we look at embers now, embers, we should be getting, yeah, there you go, auto, uh, motive cores and archaic bricks. Oh, that is lovely. Um, funny that we can't, normally in a lot of mod packs, the golems spawn just generally around the place as well. Um, so this is obviously a little bit more specialized, but this is easily done for, as you can see, getting loads of these cores, which makes making everything just that bit easier. If we go back to the um, the embers thing, where is the wildfire core? There we go. So we don't need to make one of these now. We just need to make an ember crystal cluster uh, to make be able to make a wildfire core. Lovely stuff. Right, you can see stuff has changed. Now we've got some archaic bricks. I decided to just make this a little bit nicer. I mean, it's still... <laughs> it's still, you know, all of this is still a little bit weird. But um, this looks a little bit nicer. Just a, a you know, just a, a little sprucing up. And uh, you can see I've got the crystal cluster already. Uh, so let's at least put these in like that. And then I've got... A copper plate, which you can actually use a thermal expansion one, which is pretty nice. Pretty nice that there we go. And I think I have the correct values. I got some alchemical waste on my first go. Um, and what is it? It's iron. There it is. Uh, iron and silver, uh, which is this one and this one and this should give us one of the wildfire cores i've actually not made any more inflictor gems mainly because i had to i had to um look for one of the golem things so we've we're doing that right now so that sort of took that place but uh, as long as we get a wildfire gem from this we i'm i'm, I'm glad i am happy because we know how to make both of these and that is the main thing that is the purpose of this episode so it would be very nice to finish off with a wildfire core. Come on, beam. Beam cannon, man. And these, apparently, the beam cannon can also be used to um, to kill mobs. Like, it's a very powerful, strong thing. So, uh, yeah, in quite an interesting little thing. There we go. Yes, we have it. We have a wildfire core. There we go. Amazing. So, inflictor gem and wildfire core. Now, this is just a small little bit... Uh, a small little puzzle, a part of the puzzle for an ATM star, but we are getting there. We are very much getting there. Let's can we go in here? Yeah, we can go in here a little bit more just to just to see. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a bit less, a uh, little bit less involved, a little bit more basic than we normally do in the episodes. But we have to go through this. It's one of the things that we had to do in order to get the ATM star. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, I like a comment. It's very much appreciated. And of course, make sure to subscribe if that is your kind of thing. Thank you so much. I've been Ector, this has been All The Month 3, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.